Right, Tara. We're off to Brecon Beacons this morning. You managed to stay awake long enough. We were a bit worried about Poppy, weren't we, yesterday? She seemed a bit down, down on herself, didn't she? Had a little tail tucked underneath. I think she was basically tired. So she's all right now. Yeah, so we're just gonna have our coffee, pack up, and we'll make our way over to Brecon Beacons. Uh, we're gonna go back to Aberaeron first. I'm gonna stick to the main roads. I didn't fancy any of the country lanes. Could cut across country. Well, so we should sat nav on, haven't we? Not yet, no. No. No, because she'll probably be trying to take it across the narrow lane. Yeah. Is this one, but it's a bit further on, isn't it? Yeah. Where it says that National Trust plays. Yeah. open side, doesn't it? It's quite big. Yeah. Because when I looked at Posh Cats's video. Yeah. We've got a link to that, couldn't we? Have you arrived <laughs> at your destination? Yes. Yes. Thank you. 
over here. We've got to go to the left here, haven't we? Yeah. There's two here. Should we just get a compass bearer and see where we are? Here's the motorhome point, so we're yeah. we're here. Yeah. So there are still some going round that okay. way. There seem to be a lot of service pitches yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Unusual to have such a choice of service pictures as well, isn't it? We'll be alright on one of these. Must be this one on the end here. Yeah, shall we have a just get there and see where the satellite might be? So we're here for four days, aren't we? Yeah. So let's have a look at the toilet, why not? Since we're here. Be disappointed if I didn't, I suppose, wouldn't you really? Emptying point. That's okay. Not a big area. Looks all right, doesn't it, T? Yeah. I'll show you in the shop, but it's closed from one to two, so I'll perhaps catch that later. Let's see if we can find the dog walk because we can't both of us can't remember where it is now. That's mm. <laughs> bike, bike and dog wash. Are you off then, Pops? Probably, yeah. So this looks like the way to the pub as well. That's right, local pub. Local pub. Dog walk in selected areas. Yeah. Bunch of playground and dog walk. Okay, go on then, Pops. We'll have a look at the dog walk. Well, that's it. Poppy's made up. Loads of smells here, aren't they? <laughs> a nice dog walk. Yeah, very nice. Well, oh, possibly. I mean, this is the most amazing dog walk I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. You definitely have to explore the pub. Yeah. If only for research purposes. Yeah. Well, this dog walk seems to go on forever. Right, we're on a service pitch, so you know what that means. Let's get hooked up. First things first, electricity. I think it's over here. Oh, is it there? Oh, all right. I thought you were falling there. No, I thought you were going to the point, and there's the point's over there. No, you always get, you always plug. I know. On, you, you always plug this end in first. Oh, just you? testing, oh, just yeah. so you could remind everyone. You should do it this way round. Always do it this way round. Because that's the easiest thing to do is to think, where do you plug in? Well, if if you're clever. And you roll your reel yeah. so that the, the end that you plug into the, the point is there. You couldn't do it anyway. No. No, that's the stop view, isn't That'll it? The stop view, yeah. Yeah. yeah you're... I'm right as usual. You're right, yeah. No, I just did that to illustrate a point. Okay. <laughs>
just about long enough. Yeah. time but were you going to say something? Aqua roll mains adapter that's the hose I've always used. I've got I've got a flat hose one of those really flat ones and I tend not to bring it with me. It's longer than this but this really that's a you plug normally you plug your water in there and that goes in an, in an aqua roll and that acts like a float like you've got in your your domestic system and let's water in as you need it. But I, ca I can't use that because I haven't got a whale pump. On there? On there. But on one of the Baileys we had, we did have a whale yeah, pump. Yeah, and we could have used that. I don't think we did though, did we? I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> I think we had a whale pump. We didn't We didn't have an external pump for it. Right. <laughs> it's always something, It's always it? something. I've got my little adapter. Give me a minute. I'm sorry if this is a bit boring for some. People, now we've you know, seen this, done it before. We've had lots of new subscribers, and they're often asking, "Can we show setting up?" Yeah, yeah. Probably got to do a whole what? video combining all your setups. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking if I serve. If I film enough service pitch setups, <laughs> I could put them all together and do a decent bit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because this is live, you know. You can't. Live? Well, it's not live, is it? Well, it is when we're recording it, isn't it? When we record it, it's live. Well, we're alive at the moment. <laughs> well, if that's what just get on with it. <laughs> that's like a hose lock adapter. So this EOS has a very useful device. Oh, it just replaces the cap and it's got like a spout. It's also got a bit of an overflow, so in theory water should come out of there. But if you overfill the tank, there's an overflow underneath the tank yeah. as well. Yeah. So tighten that up. Right, that should be filling the tank. Something I'm always forgetting with this control panel is that you can press, you know, switch it on, if you press the um, view level button and you hold the view, it beeps once and then that light or the lights will stay on permanently until you press that again till it beeps. Anyway, it's just bit So you don't don't have to keep coming and pressing in the thing. Which I keep forgetting. <laughs> Another comment we had recently was that I, I mentioned that this hose is not all that long and it only just about reaches. Someone said why don't you move the van closer to the tap? Well there's a very good reason for that is that when you pitch up at a caravan club site and, and other sites for that matter they tell you to pitch in a certain position so they always tell you at, on caravan club sites to pitch driver's side to the peg obviously if you're coming in the other way if you're going in forward it'd be passenger side to the peg Sorry, so you're the same distance from the van, isn't it? Yeah, it's to keep it's a distance. I know, it's not a problem on these pitches, but it is to keep a distance between you and the next van. Yeah. Keep an, it's supposed to be, is it six metres? I think Something it's six, like that, yeah. six metres minimum between vans. Yeah. So if I was to park over that side, obviously I'd be a bit closer to that van that's not likely there, to turn up there. <laughs> well, yeah. you, you never know, there might not be a van there. <laughs> Yeah, the only trouble with this leaving this display on is the display doesn't move unless you press the button. <laughs> so it's sort well, of we've got, you know, might have a stick. Or something, or yeah, maybe. 
maybe, but that, that level doesn't move until you press yeah. the view levels button. I'm sure I've tried that before. Yeah. You told me to do that. Yeah. And then I suddenly pressed it again, it was full. Yeah, so it's probably why we stopped doing it. Yeah. Awful. And that's it. We've probably got enough water for three or four days anyway, so I'm going to put the hose away. Yeah, well that's the overflow, isn't it? It's the overflow. Yeah, just to illustrate a point. And it does come out a little bit there. The trouble is, it, the level doesn't move. It doesn't move for ages, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, you're full. Oh, yeah. Right, let's go and put the waste pipe on. Something. <laughs> but obviously we've got these expandable waste pipes, these collapse expandable waste pipes. We've used them quite a few times now, haven't we? Yeah. Comes in this nice drawstring bag. Well, it's six of them, so hopefully, the problem. reaching that. You're still short with four, aren't you? Yeah. And they were originally selling these kits with just four pipes yeah. in them. Yeah. Four is just not enough. No. I think it worked at Buxton, didn't it, without yeah. water growth? Yeah. Was that because the tap was further back? I think the tap was at the side. Somewhere, yeah. So that's five. So you definitely need six. Yeah. I suspect on some pictures you might need. You might need eight. Seven or eight. Yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty close. Brilliant. That's the nicest thing about the service pitch, isn't it? So now I don't need to worry about the water. Well, we're filled up with water. Don't need to worry about the waste. No. And I just let the water drain out of there. One thing I haven't forgot, I forgot to do. What did you forget on. to do? Turn the tap on. So all I've got to do is empty the, the bins. And I've done the toilet. No, but I mean, you've, you've only got to go over there to do it, that's one. Oh, I you know see. Like. Yeah, yeah. So we're just over there. Right. Last thing to do. Do you want to just put that away? Yeah. Put the tow frame away. I'd already done the number plate. Sorry? I'd already done the number plate. Yeah, well, you had me worried, I was just saying. I'd, yeah. I'd, no, I'd, I took I it off. I saw the car didn't have a number plate, and I thought, well, have I forgot to put the number no, plate I took on? No, I took it off as soon as we. Because the car was parked in the road with a. Yeah. Not attached. Right, we've got a cunning little device here, and it it's ha happened at Methot Fell was that I put this cable away inside the inside the bonnet we'll see in a sec where it goes I'm gonna put this cable away so I curl it up and I left that like that and I was driving along and there was a fuse went yeah the lights and one of the lights blew one of the lights so I called the AA out and they replaced the fuse, found the fuse which had gone. There was yeah. no mean feat in itself. And he gave me that, which is a, a cap off an old uh, brake fluid tin. And it just fits on the 
Nice like that. and protects yeah. it. So you can't get no risk of getting any water or anything in there. Well, it's not so much water; it's getting it, you know, no. earthing out because earthing this is out, still yeah. still got electricity going through it, still live. Even when you've switched the unit. And well, when like you're driving, obviously the the lights are still coming through there, so oh, I see. that's right. why it went because you know you yeah you just I. I just normally just poke it in there by the battery and obviously there's up lots of things it could yeah. touch on there. Because we arrived in the dark, didn't we? So because we had the lights on. Yeah. 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 Well it doesn't matter, you've got the lights on or not, no. it can still blow the <laughs> blow the fuse. <laughs> so that's that. This is the little wedge. So that allows that to go down. It's only a little piece of aluminium. Hmm, but it makes said you know, taking this off and yeah. getting away much quicker. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so take the pins out. It's so much better being able to do this on a pitch, isn't it? Rather yeah. Than rather than in the road. road yeah. Where you're in the way. Yeah. That one goes in there. The only thing I would say now, can I just... The only thing I would say now is that this bar has gone a bit rusty. We've had this a couple of years now. And I've, I have treated it with... Uh, they always recommend GT85. But I think we've probably used it so much mm. and it's been out in all weathers come back from uh, places where it's been yeah hail and, and salt on the road and, and hundreds yeah. of miles yeah and I think it's just worn out the, the coat and it's still perfectly safe Yeah, trying not to. Someone put the number plate in there first, didn't they? Yeah, and it's slightly cracked. Don't know, that wouldn't have been me. You wouldn't have done that then? No, no, I don't think I would have done that. No. I find that too heavy anyway, so I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. have. No. You haven't taken your uh, both things off. Oh no. So these just unscrew. Could in theory leave these on, but I suppose it'd be a hazard to pedestrians, wouldn't it? If you and hit also, one. yeah, wouldn't they bang a bit? They no. might do. They might do. They don't take long to yeah. for you to take them off. And we filmed putting the tow frame on, haven't we? In the past, yeah, yeah. I'll put a link to that. I don't think I've ever filmed taking it off because <laughs> before, before we had this wage, we've always been trying to get it off quick. Yeah, to get, to get out, out of the way. way. Yeah. Now this yeah. is this thing here. This on like a caravan, you have a breakaway cable. This is the breakaway cable. So if the towing frame was to come away from the, the van, uh, come away from the motorhome, it would pull on this, and it's an electric plug. You pull that, and the brakes come on. So the car will brake quite quite suddenly. So it will bring the car to a stop, and obviously you'll carry on down the road with the remains of whatever you've got on the A-frame. So, I think you might notice by then, might you? I think you might have noticed. Yeah. yeah, well I'm always looking in the rear view thing, yeah. check the cars there. But that, that's what that is in case you wonder. And it, that just tucks in there. It, it is just literally an electric plug. Yeah. Right, so the last thing is put the unit away. Get my camera gear out. Well, the really nice thing about the up is it's actually got quite a big boot and a lot of it's hidden because you've got this like well area in here oh that's where Tara's other <laughs> box went <laughs> and it's perfect for putting the towing frame in there that's a plumber's bag isn't it, it? it is actually a plumber's bag yeah, yeah. It just goes in there just means I keep all the bits and pieces for it in one place 
I can put the cool bag down there with it. You want your camera stuff in? Oh, no, I'm going to no. leave it. Oh, you can yeah. put it on the top. I'm going to leave it in the car. Got it in bits and pieces. Furry mic. In the, yeah, the furry mic and everything. A blanket for the dogs. So that's it, isn't it? That's it, yeah. So we're going to now... Let's have a coffee and then put the awning up. Yep, we're going to have a coffee and then we'll put the driveway awning up. Because we're here for four nights. Yeah. Rain forecast tomorrow, but survived the last rain, what, didn't it? Rain? Forecast tomorrow. OK. Looks all right at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got satellite signal. Who knows for how long, though? Yeah. This is the automatic unit that causes the car to brake. It's off at the moment, that switches it on, and that's off. So you've got to make sure that that's off before you set off going anywhere. But that's the other part of the towing system. This is a, it, it's a valve basically, and it's operated by vacuum. And what it does is it pulls on a lever and it operates the brakes. It pulls a vacuum, pulls it, and pulls the brakes on. And that's what operates the brakes. It's quite simple, really. But it also, the system also creates a vacuum for the servo as well. So the, the, the car is properly servo braked. So you, you can feel the car braking if you have to brake hard with a motorhome. It's waiting for the next skateboard to go past. It's only been one, Pops, haven't it? Yeah, it's only been one. It's been quite quiet here. Oh, we're all We're all set up for our awning. What do you want? Consumed a can of Stella Artois. I haven't finished mine yet. And it's about Poppy's tea time. <laughs> uh, that would be my guess. You're going to get my tea for me. Yeah? So I'm always getting yours. Right, so that's it for uh, today's video. I uh, hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Remember to subscribe, hit the notifications icon, and you'll get some regular updates when we release our next video. Where are we going tomorrow? I don't know yet, do we? I'm beside it. It's either the Brecon Mountain Railway or somewhere else. Or somewhere else. It's threatening rain, isn't it, tomorrow? Yeah, so, so we're looking for somewhere that's undercover, aren't we? Probably, yeah. yeah. You wonder where Tara is. She's tucked. She's in her bed down there somewhere. Hiding. Hiding. Got a quiet corner. And you're the one who's causing all the trouble, aren't you? And me? <laughs> <laughs>